here, we'll run through all current gear options as of 7.05 first, and then in the second section we'll discuss how best to progress. If you have guild to burn, you can very quickly advance any and all jobs to item level 710 by purchasing the latest Archeo Kingdom crafted battle gear from the market board. A full set does currently cost upwards of 5 million on my server, however, it has only, only just been released. In general, this has the edge on other 710 gear as it is unique in that it can be over melded with each piece able to hold up to 5 materia. Note, if you want to overmeld yourself, you need at least one crafter at level 100, else you'll need another player to help you out. NPCs cannot overmeld. Be warned though, overmelds have a limited chance of success, so you're likely to burn through hundreds of hundreds of materia, aka millions of gil. Fully overmelded gear is also far from a necessity for most, as will quickly be replaced with better gear. It is generally only important for those trying to clear new savage tiers in the first week or maybe two of release before they can acquire better gear from tomes and fight drops. Putting the gill route to one side though, the options for gear currently are as follows. The first being actually obtainable at level 99. Don't forget that after the level 99 MSQ quest in Pursuit of Sphene, you can get free item level 690 level weapons and left side gear from Musanti and Tulliola for all your jobs. Item level 700 gear is then from the NPC Zircon in Solution 9 for the Tombstones of Ascetics, which are earned from daily roulettes at level 100, level 100 dungeons, trials, raids, treasure maps and dawn trail hunts. Item level 710 gear then comes from the NPC Hui under light heavy hollow gear exchange. You need to hand in varying quantities of items received from the normal mode level 100 raids, aka the Arcadian. You can get one token per raid per week. Additionally, the NPC or Shepa in Solution 9 will trade you item level 710 accessories under totem gear Zerol Jar for tokens from the Everkeep Extreme and item level 710 weapons under totem gear Valigamanda for tokens from the Wakor Lador Extreme Trial. Moving up the chain, you can then obtain item level 720 gear and weapons, also from the NPC Zircon for tombstones of Heliometry, which are also earned via Dude Duty Roulettes at level 100 and also level 100 dungeons, trials, treasure maps and dawn trail hunts. 720 gear can then be upgraded to item level 730 via the NPC Theone by trading the gear plus a Surge Light upgrade material. Currently though, the relevant upgrade materials can only be acquired via the new Savage Difficulty Arcadian Raids. Further ways to get these via the 24 Man Alliance and the hunts will be added later in the year in patch 7.1, possibly coming to a home near you in November. The Heliomontry Tome Weapon item level 720 can be acquired by trading 7 light heavy hollow blades for a universal tombstone from Hurai and then trading that tombstone and 500 tomes of heliometry with the NPC Zircon. Only one of the light heavy tombstones can be acquired from the fourth normal mode dungeon per week, the Arcadian M4, so it takes seven weeks to acquire these weapons. They can then be upgraded to 730 in the same manner as the gear. A separate set of item level 730 gear and the top item level 735 weapon can be obtained via direct drops from the current Savage Raids. Note you can only run each Savage Raid once per week for gear, but you can roll on multiple pieces. This means you could end up with zero gear from a raid each week, or all the gear. You do though get a guaranteed book to save up and trade the required amount for gear of your choice with the NPC Hui under AAC Illustrated LHW Edition Exchange. That is now all the level 100 gear options covered, but how do we progress simply and efficiently? First, I'll run through for players not looking to immediately jump into Savage, or possibly at all. I'll touch a bit on the nuances, 
but generally it's pretty simple in that you just want to take any opportunity to increase your gear item level where possible. One option is just buying 17 gear from the market board, assuming you can't also craft it yourself. But if splashing gill isn't your thing, then first get your free 690 gear from Yuzunti and Tulliola. If you want to purchase something but are very gill limited, then I'd recommend prioritizing the weapon if you do not want to tackle the EX trials, as weapons give the best damage bump and it will take 7 weeks of normal raids to upgrade beyond the item level 700 tome weapon. Then you'll want to farm tomes of athletics to acquire item level 700 accessories to get your average item level shown here to a minimum of 685 which will enable you to get into the normal raids. Then ensure you do the 4 normal raids each week to acquire tokens to trade for 710 raid gear. You get one token a week per each raid. Accessories only need one token, hands, head and feet two, and chest and legs four tokens. Whether you got the gill gear or not, you'll then want to concurrently farm 400 tomes of heliometry a week, maxing out your weekly cap, and trade these for the 720 gear. You'll want to eventually replace all your gear with this 720 gear. As the ring is unique, you can only have one, so in your other ring slot, use a 710 crafted or normal raid ring for now. It's important though to try and plan the order which you'll get items to avoid immediately wasting gear. And all I mean by this for example is you work hard one day to get 4 tokens for the raid chest piece, but then decide to immediately replace it with the tome chest piece the same day. You can also concurrently move into EX Trials with a min item level of 690 to fill in 710 weapons or accessory gaps instead of the normal raid or crafted gear. If you're a non-savage raider, then that's really it for now. Use normal raids, crafted or EX gear to boost your item level while capping your weekly heliometry tombs to ultimately replace all gear with item level 720, which takes about 13 weeks with the weekly cap. Moving on for those looking to get involved in Savage. I won't dwell too much on those keen beans looking to complete all of Savage in the first week of release, as I'm sure largely they know what they're getting themselves in for, and most will want to immediately buy a full set of item level 10 crafted gear from the market board, dependent on substats, to then fully overmeld 5 materia to each piece, which again our mind is very gill intensive. Then they'll replace that gear with item level 730 drops from Savage Raids and 720 into upgraded 730 tome gear, whichever has the best substats. But when it comes to what I'm going to call middle ground players like myself, who aim to get through Savage in let's say the first month, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 weeks, then the approach that I take is a little bit more convoluted, but is just a combination of what we've discussed so far with extra credence given to thinking about the order in which you'll buy things as you'll also want to factor in what savage drops you may get from the earlier raids in the first few weeks. My initial approach is to obtain a mix of 710 crafted, normal raid and EX gear based on each gear's piece substats. Most jobs prioritise a combination of critical hit, termination and direct hit, which is what I've done here on my warrior main. Some jobs do do better with a small amount of skill or spell speed which affects the recast time of their abilities, and Black Mage as an outlier often goes very heavy on spell speed. I strongly recommend the Balance Discord which I'll link to in the description, which has a clear section for each job with instruction and advice on each job's substats and gear. Going back to my warrior, in practice this just meant I looked at the normal raid gear at the vendor picked the pieces which had a combo of crit, debt and direct hit, and then filled the rest in with crafted gear, plus the EX weapon to save a bit of gill. This has me more than ready to jump into the first savage raid at a very very comfy gear point. I will then replace the gear as I can over the next few weeks with 720 good tome gear and 730 savage raid drops, plus the upgrades to the tome gear. Note. If I have not cleared the final savage fight at the point I have 7 tokens for the 720 tome weapon, I will prioritise getting the weapon as soon as possible, 
even if I expect to replace it quite shortly with the Savage weapon, as it gives the best bump in damage, which can become especially important in that final fourth Savage raid. Planning is again particularly important here, and I would recommend looking at the gear vendors to work out your best in slot, aka which 720 tone pieces have the substats you want, and which Savage drops have the substats you want. Generally, it'll be one or the other. Make a list or obtain one from the Balance Discord to ensure you prioritise your weekly helometry tomes on the pieces that you'll keep rather than wasting on gear you'll quickly replace with Savage gear. And there we go, the gear treadmill is pretty much the same as every expansion launch. We can expect additional catch up options when 7.1 launches in November-ish, but let's also hope that Yoshi's promise of twice as many rewards by 7.3 also includes a little shake up to what gear options we normally get in 7.1. Your time watching this is hugely appreciated as always, and as usual, it'll be a massive help if you could like and subscribe to complete the duty.